Hello everyone, this is Craig Jamer with ecmtechhelp.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to enable the gadgets on Windows 7. That's right, if you look on the right hand side of my screen right here, right over here, check this out, you can see all the gadgets I have enabled on my Windows 7 operating system. Now, by default, on a lot of systems, these do not come enabled. In fact, it's kind of annoying all the steps you have to jump through in order to enable the gadgets on Windows 7. Maybe yours came enabled, maybe they didn't. Depends on the system you bought and how it was configured when you bought it. But in either case, once you've left this video, you will be an expert on Windows 7 gadgets. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you're gonna have to do is change your group policy. So let's go ahead and select the Start Menu button and type in Group Policy. And then the first option here is Edit Group Policy. Now when this comes up, there is a nice little navigation on the left hand side. You want to go to user configuration and you want to click the drop down area next to administrative templates. And then you want to select the drop down next to windows components. And then we want to select desktop gadgets. Now on the right hand side here, uh, you'll notice there's a turn off desktop gadgets feature. Now this is kind of goofy the way they worded this. Notice that the feature is called turn off desktop gadgets. So if you enable it, this feature, it will turn them off. Get it? So you're enabling it to be disabled. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a silly way to do it. But if you click Edit Policy Settings here on the left-hand side, you want to set this to Disabled because we do not want the gadget turned off. So set that to Disabled, and in the bottom, you're going to select Apply, then OK. And then after we've done that, we're not done yet, we need to go to the Start Menu button again, and then we're going to go to your Control Panel. And at this point, we actually have to install the gadgets because on a lot of the operating systems, when you install them by default, the Windows operating systems, it does not come with uh, gadgets installed by default. So I went to Programs here, so go ahead and select Programs, and then you want to select Turn Windows Features On or Off, and it's going to populate your window with a lot of features built into uh, Windows 7. And we're going to scroll down to, and we're interested in the Windows Gadget Platform. Make sure you check that box and that is selected. Okay, once you've selected that, it'll actually go through and it'll install the gadget platform. And then uh, you've basically, you've installed it and you've activated it on your operating system. Now at this point, you want to actually log out. So select the Start Menu button and then choose the arrow. You can restart it if you want as well. And then choose Log Off. After it's logged off, just log right back in. And then on the desktop, when you've logged back in, you just right click and you'll notice you have this nice little option here to select gadgets. So go ahead and select gadgets and it'll bring up all the options you have for gadgets. Now, as you notice, you can actually get more gadgets online by selecting a link here. You know, check out and see what they got. Uh, you also have an option here for Windows Media Player, the weather, slideshow, calendar. I have a few examples right here on the right hand side, as you can see. But uh, uh, that's pretty much all there is to it enabling gadgets. Uh, now, as always, thanks for stopping by. Let me double check here. I just want to make sure that I've got everything covered here because I kind of have a little list here of everything that needs to be handled so that we can get all the... Uh... Oh, there's one more thing. So we want to make sure that if for any reason you add a gadget to your desktop and it doesn't show up, you have to click View and you have to make sure that Show Desktop Gadgets is checked because if that's not checked, notice that they vanish. So that's it. That's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments. And I always say ratings, but it's not really ratings anymore. So thumb up the video if you liked it. You can swing by the community forum at pcmtechhelp.com slash forum and register. It's completely free. You can ask questions there if you have any problems. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. That's at Craig Chamberlain. You can also follow us on Facebook. That's the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. Actually, if you go to the featured page on my YouTube channel, it has links to all those other networks you can connect with me on. And I'll be more than happy to help you out. Feel free to send me a message anytime. And uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come. Thanks again.